Hi there, my name is Balaj. I'm an instructional designer here at Top Hat. And today, we're going to be talking about how to create different question types in Top Hat. Creating different question types allows you to engage students and understand where their comprehension falls according to Bloom's taxonomy. Start off by clicking the Add to Course button. From the drop down list, select the question option. And from here, you can choose any of the question type outlines. Please keep in mind that creating any question will start from this flow. Let's begin with a multiple choice question. Follow the prompts on screen to get started. Question types like multiple choice, true and false, and the Likert scale are a great way to help gauge student comprehension in relation to direct call and reviewing basic concepts. The correctness and participation point values can be adjusted on the lower left-hand side. A reminder that the point breakdown by default is set for all questions to 0.5 for correctness and 0.5 for participation. But these values can be changed in your course settings under the grading tab, and the total does not need to equal to 1. Once you're happy with your question, click on the Save Question button on the lower right side. Let's move on to the word question. Be sure to follow the prompts on screen to create your question. Please note that if the word answer question is meant to be open-ended with no correct answer, use the trash can icon towards the right side to remove the correct answer option. Then, adjust the grades if desired and click the save button. For question types that require students to apply their knowledge, we can consider the numeric answer, fill in the blank, matching, and sorting question types. Now let's take a look at the numeric answer question. Be sure to follow the prompts off screen. For fill in the blank questions, begin by selecting that question type and then providing a question title. You also have the option to attach an image if applicable. Then, under the question description, enter in the question and select add blank to insert a blank answer box where needed. You'll have the option to choose a word or numeric value for the answer type and then add in either the word or numeric answers in the appropriate correct answer boxes. And as always, adjust your grade points and remember that save button. Let's continue with the matching question. Begin by providing a question title. You have the option to attach an image if applicable. Under the question description, enter in the question. Under the matching options, input the premises and their matching responses. If needed, click the plus buttons below the matching options to add matching pairs or distractor responses. You can add up to 10 matching pairs or responses in total for our matching questions. As always, do not forget to click save. For the sorting question type, start off by adding in a title then under question description, input the question itself. And within answer options, input the correct answer in the correct order pertaining to the question. To add more answer options, click the add another answer button. You can add up to 10 answer options in total for a sorting question. If needed, click the trash can icon aligned to the right of an answer option to remove it from the question. There's also an option to award partial grades for parts the student gets correct. When this is checked off, Students will receive correctness points corresponding with the number of answer options they correctly placed in sequence in their response. Once you're happy with your question, click the Save button. Providing students the chance to apply their knowledge can be done using the click on target or the long answer questions. For the click on target question type, start by adding in your title. Select the upload image button and choose an image to upload from your device. Indicate the correct target zone by clicking on the correct area within your image. You can drag, resize, or delete. Resize using the white circles on the left and right edges of the target area. Multiple correct target zones can also be placed in this question type. Then, input the number of additional clicks allowed in the extra attempts field, keeping in mind that this will be in addition to the one attempt per target they earn by default. Finishing off with the last question type, the long answer question. Follow the props on screen, and bear in mind that long answer questions have to be graded manually for correctness. To learn more about creating different Top Hat question types, as well as driving engagement before, during, and after class, visit our Top Hat knowledge base for more information.